Hello. I'm so nervous. Why are you so mahinin, babe? He's not usually like this, I swear. Because I just want to make you proud. <laughs> Let's just hope that aside from making me proud, you don't make me look stupid. I can't promise that. Welcome to Debbie TV. My name is Debbie, of course, and I am in all of my bare face glory for vlog number four. So this is highly requested from a lot of you, my viewers, who have asked to see my everyday makeup routine and the products that I use. But then again, I thought, you know, that might sound a little bit boring because I'm always doing the same thing every day. And a witness to that just so happens to be my bebe love, who sees me do my makeup every single day. So I'd like to hope that he'd learn something from it. We've decided to partner up today and have him as my very first guest on the channel again! He is a radio DJ at Wave891, an actor, uh, you may know him as Jethro <laughs> on La Luna Sangre. He's also, fun fact, a rapper! Since we're just gonna dive right into it, I always make it a point to prime before putting on my makeup. So what I'm gonna use today is MAC Prep and Prime in Radiant Pink. My favorite thing about this is, is my favorite thing about this is it has pink sparkles, so it kind of gives me a little flush. So go ahead, baby. Start. What do I do? So you put primer on my face. I usually use it with a brush because I don't trust where Dino's hands have been. You know where my hands have been. Shut up. You'll never know. First, you spritz a little bit onto the brush and then put it on my face. Like, is there a certain way where I should... No, just like, get it all around. Why is that? While we're putting on the makeup, of course, we actually have some questions from all of you viewers out there who requested for it off of the hashtag. Hashtag AskDebbieTV. So all the questions that you asked are about me, Dino, or relationships in general. So we shall start off with our first question, okay? Oh, look up, look up. Yeah. Yes. yes. Our first question is coming to us from at IshiiU underscore. She says, San kayo unam nagkita? So our friend, Alexa Olvez. I used to work with her when I worked for Red Bull Philippines. Sup guys, I miss you guys. We went to a party to deliver Red Bull. And my friend, Alexa Olvez, her boyfriend at the time, his best friend was Dino. So I saw him and I thought, not knowing about like his artista past or anything, I was like, oh wow, that guy's like really cute. I kept um, asking about him every time um, I would work with Alexa. He's like, oh, are we going to another party today? Is Dino gonna be there? Hint, hint. Alexa said, no, Debbie, he's too old for you. What the f he's gonna corrupt you. He's so old. Don't do it. What? Dino even asked about me as well. Saying, like, oh, who's your friend? She's cute. And she said, no, she's too young for you. So he backed off. And then. See, I listened. Because I don't want to be a creep. Like that. So that answers the question of um, at Hazel May underscore as well because she asked how did you meet each other. Okay. Next step, so foundation and concealer. Okay. So for my foundation, I'm going to use Mac Lightful C with Coral Grass. So this is in the shade Light. So we're gonna apply it with uh, using the compact now. Okay, so okay. it's primer before yes. concealer. Primer always before concealer. Because I've seen some makeup people put straight up concealer first. It's not good, but that. Alright. You're learning as you go, babe. Okay, so babe. What? So, yes. But that's a sponge. Yes, so basically, yeah. you press down and oh. then it's gonna oh. cap it on the sponge. I'm gonna cap it on the sponge. Eh? <laughs> so question number two is coming to us from at Zeal Patchiks. Sino po unang nagpakute or nagpapansin? Ako. No. Her. Her. I went up to the table that he was at. With he, he was just sitting there chilling with his best friend Chris, and I came up to them with my Red Bull bag and I put on my nicest smile and I went. Hi, do you want a Red Bull? And he goes, yeah, sure, just put it on the table. So what I did was I put the bag on the table and then I did my best to, you know, touch the booty a little so I look cute. So yeah, it was me, sadly. So I'm so ashamed of it, but so worth it. <laughs> 
So question number three is from at 10 genius. Tell us something about your love story and how unique it is. Oh, you? You! Me? What, what's something that's unique about our love story? <sighs> you want to share? Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Just keep that out. Though. She has these quirks. I mean, everybody has their quirks, but it's her quirks that I tolerate. <laughs> I guess she just accepted me straight up for who I am, what my situation is, and just like what it is before having any false fronts or her own like image of me in her head. But like she just like, hey, you're Dino, I accept you. Instead of like, oh, I, I I'd accept you. So oh, I'm not my arte. <laughs> Not the yeah, best. when it comes to like people, because you're just very like you don't mind where they're from, <laughs> what 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 background. <laughs> Stop it. Tell me more. <laughs> that was really sweet. Thank you. Question number four. So question number four is also from Ten Genius. So Ten Genius is asking once again, what is the one thing that you did for each other that he or she hates? But nevertheless, does because you like it. You went to the Ariana Grande concert with me. I, I, I didn't think, yeah. I didn't think that he would go when I asked him. But I really, really wanted to go because I love Ariana Grande. He at first was just like, oh no, I'm gonna have to go to this. Okay, I, I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna be. He he wasn't gonna be a brat about it. So he was super nice. And at the end of the night, he thoroughly enjoyed it. At first, he was just like, yeah. And like all cool and chill and stuff. And then the next thing you know, he's going, Yeah! Yeah! Hold on, man! And he's like, Woo! Woo! You know what's funny though? What? During the Ariana Grande concert. What? Because here in the Philippines, though, we have a certain accent. Mm. So everybody was like, you know, cheering on Ariana. Ari! 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 <laughs> and then everybody just stopped at the third chant. Wait, before we end, yeah. What I use for my concealer, this is the one that I always go to. It is Maybelline uh, in Sand Sable. What's that one thing that um, I did for you, Naman? What did I do for you, Naman? Dealing with my BS. <laughs> I'm a mall rat from time to time. So I, I like to look at comics and stuff like that. And not a lot of girls like stuff like that. Because I usually go by myself and sometimes I just need someone to talk to and be like, Oh my god, this is so awesome! I thoroughly enjoy our time whenever we walk around the mall and stuff because he's a huge Marvel fan. I just so happen to be a DC fan, but the fact that we, we we can join forces and just like you know make up our fantasy superhero team. Yeah, we join forces and yeah. make up our fantasy. We're, we're, we're like. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and you don't mind being my videographer during gigs. Oh yes. His gigs are pretty fun, you know. You guys should drop by next time. Follow him on Instagram at Dino Quilates, so you can see, you know, his latest gig. Do drop by, but don't don't try anything funny. Just so you know, I'm watching. So up next, we're gonna do brows. The Etude House brow pencil in brow, brow pencil in gray, but. Since I dyed my hair and I got some highlights, which is like a lighter shade of ash brown and stuff, I've started to use a little more um, lighter shades when it comes to putting on my eyebrows. So this time around, I am going to use the Gigi Hadid Maybelline New York collection. So I super love the Gigi Hadid Maybelline collection. It's amazing. And then we'll top it off with my favorite also, go to Nishido Tinted Brow Gel. Question number five is from Adrian Zen. To describe him in a sentence. Hmm, this is kind of a tough one. Because he's so many things. Do you want your do you want it to like you know how like some girls are so obvious like it's a rectangle? Why here. why would I want it to be obvious? Okay. <laughs> I don't know, because girls are weird. Um that one sentence. Cause you call me your beacon of light. Yeah. But I'm a beacon of light. He's crazy, he's the girl in the A ba bad boy but with principles. The best bad decision ever. Wow. When we first started seeing each other, people were like people telling me to stay away from me, like, no, it's a bad decision, it's a bad decision, don't do it. I, so I just get judged for my eyebrows. Because if I was a girl, I'd have resting 
fucking bitch face. So yeah, he's the best bad decision ever. No, 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 it's a good thing because I'm just using what everyone's saying, <coughs> but turning it around. Best decision. Best decision, no. Best decision. Next question is Is she you? She's asking two different questions. Sino celoso celosa sa inyo? Yeah, definitely him. It's like she knew. She goes, For Debbie, pano magsaselos si Dino? Okay, when he gets jealous, it's kind of creepy because he gets like really mad and he's just like, no, no. And then I uh, hold her dog for hostage. Yeah, he's like, come home now or your dog die. So yeah, he's the celoso in the relationship. But it's not like anything too possessive or creepy. It's just he gets jealous really fast. Next question. What's wrong? Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, next question is asking uh, from Debbie Tenner's official. Hi guys, it's my, my, my favorite, Debbie Tenner's official. So they're asking, how would you define happiness? I'm looking at it right now. Wow. Well, happiness starts with the self. Uh, it can't be... It can't be somebody else. It, I agree with it that. It can't be found from the outside. Deep, guys. It's not just about what you do or how much money you make. It has to be um, the. It has to be that same question every time. Does that feed your soul? Does that make you feel accomplished? Next step, we are going to put on the eyeliner and mascara. This step, I'm kind of afraid of, but. For the eyeliner, uh, once again from the Gigi Hadid Maybelline New York collection um, in black. And my mascara is something that I obviously use a lot, hence why it's all scratched up. It is the Max Factor False Lash Epic. So it's supposed to make your lashes look like fake lashes, like really big eyes. Because I have yeah. small chinita eyes. I used to know how to put eyeliner on when I was in high school. Yeah. Because emo face. Yeah. Good Charlotte! Next question. Again. <laughs> Thing. Don't rub it, you're just gonna spread it, babe! Um, <laughs> I felt that, I felt that. Next question is from Carlo Casas. So it's a friend of oh, ours, man. Carlo. He asked, How did you finally convince Dino to trim the beard? And were you guys able to make a wig out of the hair? Okay, first of all, she didn't convince me. That was my own decision. Yeah. Nobody tells me what to do with my face. Or nope. anything I do with life. And and I never would want to tell him what to do with his life or the way that he looks either way. I feel that true love is loving someone whether they're fat, skinny, they have a ton of hair or not. Like I always found Dino very, very attractive in general. So whatever he does to himself, but just as long as it's still healthy, of course. I don't want him to let himself go. I didn't convince him to trim the beard. He did it himself. Um, and we did not make the hair into oh. a wig because I, I don't think it was enough, no? It wasn't. But Ooh. it was enough to make another mustache. Dang, that was so hard. Next step, we are going to put on the contour and blush. So what I use for that is my trusted BYS contour and highlight kit. What I like to do is use the darker shade of brown, as you can tell. Contour is supposed to be um, different per person depending on their face shape. And since I have a heart shaped face, what I usually do is go contour underneath my cheekbones, which is here, both sides, and then under um, along my jawline. This, so it's more defined. This is the contour. Contour, yeah. And this is the darker shade. Yeah, the darker shade. So you go like this on both ends, and then a little bit over here. Is it like? That like this or like that? Like this, yeah, like this. Like this uh -huh. for everything. It has to be a line. Like okay. Okay. So the next question is from Bianca Yuzon. So at Bianca Yuzon, she's asking, how do you guys influence each other in terms of well-being and health practices? Are you working towards certain health goals together? Yes. Yes. Okay. Fun fact: Dino does not eat red meat. So he doesn't eat beef or pork. Or anything with four legs, really. So it's really hard to look for a restaurant that we both can eat at because I gotta say, guys, I am absolutely in love with steak and bacon. What I like about his little quirk, I guess, 
is the fact that I've been eating a lot healthier. Hello, Atom. I've been eating a lot healthier because of him. Not um, really. We've been eating mee goreng in the middle of the night. Shh. Mee goreng when, is like the bunch of canton of like, Brunei is the best. We'll have one episode now. I'm cooking it for you guys. But and the but sides. The just the top here. Kiss me. <laughs> going. So um, I only eat the bad food in secret. You're not supposed to know that. So yeah, I don't know how he knows that. Maybe he just hears me get up in the middle of the night with like you know messing place. around in the kitchen. <laughs> So, um, as much as possible, we try and find food places where we can both enjoy the food thoroughly. That just means that we've been looking for restaurants that we can eat healthier. You have to do nose line also after this. By the way, I hate it when girls like use like put the nose line on too much. It's like, what are you trying to look like, Michael Jackson? <laughs> I don't like when Debbie puts like the nose line on too much. Oh my god. I do my best not to put too much. Like what I do right now. <laughs> it's your fault. Next question is from at Gianna underscore Lianes. Hey girl. So she's asking, how do you guys keep up with your career while still having time for each other as well? This is a rather difficult one because when Dino was taping for La Luna, um, I barely got to see him because his taping schedule is really intense. He had taping every day and it would be 24 hours every single day. It came to a point where I missed him so much. I, I would you know, visit him on set and try and bring him food and stuff because yeah. I just really missed him. So it, it usually is about making sacrifices and compromising. So sometimes I'll take like a weekend off so we can spend time together. But he never he never imposes that on me. He's always like, no, just go to work, just go to work, and we'll just find time for each other. Yeah, I don't like women who don't do nothing with the labs. So <laughs> we're, we're very career-driven people. Now blush. I use the same palette, the pink one. Just put a little bit on the apples of my cheeks. The apples of your cheeks? We, we try and make as much time as we can for each other uh, with whatever time we do have. So whenever we're free, that's when we do something. Like we go out to dinner. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Our favorite place to go out and eat um, is actually a place Canto Freestyle! Canto Freestyle. We absolutely love it. They have the best chicken and waffles. I'm I'm really hamming it up because you know sponsor for naman so, yeah, I'm kidding. We totally forgot one step. We have to put on powder. So oh, man. this is the time where you can clean up all of the fallout or mess that you've made. We're gonna be using the BYS translucent loose powder in natural. Since the Mac foundation, like we'll see, is in light, and I'm still kind of tan for an Asian chick. Uh, we've decided to balance it out with the BYS translucent powder. I don't like cakey powder because my skin is dry. So as much as possible, I use a lot of loose powder for the same like consistency. Like that? Yeah. So just get the areas where, um, like, don't don't rub over the contour, the place that you didn't touch with the contour. Um, so okay, we're gonna put on the lipstick. What I use as a chapstick would have to be the Clinique Chubby Stick in 03 Fuller Fake. So that's what I usually put on underneath my lipstick. So it's tinted, it has a, a prunish type of fig shade, I guess. So like brownish red on the lips. Last question. Our last question is, wait, let me read it first before you put it on. Our last question is from Ishiyu underscore once again. Do you think he or she is the one? Man, it's like this. Anybody can be the one, meaning that every relationship has its own cycle. Okay, there's the infatuation stage, all the cute quirks, you like, you like it, it's funny, everything like that. Now, eventually, maybe after a couple of months or years, people naturally they 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 lose that. If you're gonna wait your whole life for the one, well, you're never gonna find them. You be your the one. You be your one. You 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 complete you, and then you find another person who's complete as well, and then you both are com two complete, two happy people on their own being together. Yeah. If, if you can't love yourself, then how can you be in love with someone else? You have to know who exactly you are. So I would think that to the both of us, the one would happen to be ourselves. But you know, when you put one and one together, you have you know two people. Become one. But the short answer would have to be, yeah, I mean, 
from what I see so far, whatever problems we do have, we seem to always just fix it together. Remember, kids. Compromise. <laughs> and women, it's not you versus him with the problem, it's you and him versus the problem. Oh my god, so good! I hope your makeup skills are as good as your Q&A skills. Now, for the first time, I shall look at myself and see how well he did. Right? Oh, what? Right? I did okay. Not bad at all. <laughs> Not bad at all. Like the lipstick, you had a little trouble there. There. I don't like it when you put too much makeup on. But I mean like wear your makeup, that's cool. I'm not telling you to not wear makeup. It's just that sometimes y'all look like you're wearing a cape. I think his weakness would have to be the blush and contour because it's not very well blended. But everything else is... Yeah, because I make you blush naturally. It, I like it. Good job, babe. You did well! Yay! So thank you so much to everyone who sent in your questions through social media. I hope you learned a little more about me and Dino and what our relationship um, has taught us so far. So I only yeah. did this for you. Uh, I don't do this for anybody else. Thank you, Bebe Love. Thank you. If you guys have uh, a challenge that you want us to fulfill, then please do drop a comment down in the comment box below. Anything else you want to ask, anything you want to see us perform, other tasks you want to see Dino do for me or me do for Dino. And until then, this has been number four on Debbie TV, the boyfriend does my makeup look. Thank you so much for your questions. I'll see you guys on the next one.